We've been training pretty hard here to win this race since we come in second. Racers and canoes started pouring into the starting point under the Napanee Bridge around 8 o'clock this morning. And by the time all the boats were in the water, the Armada totaled over 200 canoes and 400 canoers in some nine different classes, including my personal favorite, the Cowards Division. It's about time someone included me in this race. Anyway, the race finally got underway about 15 minutes late today, but that was the only time the leaders were behind on the clock. At the nine mile mark, the Bloomington Bridge, nine miles down the river, two familiar faces, George and Calvin Hassel of Grand Island had taken control of the race. The two men have won this race six times previously and they were well on their way to a seventh win. By the time they reached the finish line at Bislow's Landing just east of Franklin, they had beaten the old course record. Their time of one hour, 44.4 seconds, bettered their old record by almost a full minute. We kind of kept eyes on our times all the way down as far as our split times, and we knew we was running close. But the headwind was pretty strong, so we didn't know if we was going to get it or not. At the last bridge, about 11 minutes up, we knew we was just right on the record. So we knew we had to gain a few seconds down toward the end to, to get it. And get it, they did. Meanwhile, one of last year's winners, Randy Moore, and his new partner, Doug Werdinger of Columbus, finished second with the Andersons of Kozad, Ken and Mike in third. Robin and Juanita Hassel of Grand Island, a familiar name, won the mixed couples racing division in a time of 2 hours, 12 minutes, and 39 seconds, while Sharon Hexen of Hastings and Valerie Alberts won the women's racing division in a time of 2 hours and 44 minutes flat. And now, let's take a look at our play of the night. 
a tragic oh they can cover 15 miles of the Republican River. This year, nearly 300 people entered nine different divisions in the Franklin Canoe Race. These in the men's and mixed competitive divisions take the race very seriously, but some don't. I guess that's the whole idea and what makes it a lot of fun. By the time the race reached the midway point, George and Calvin Hassel of Grand Island opened up a large lead and a bang of over six minutes on the rest of the field. They were on pace to break the record that they set last year. But unfortunately for them, they would come up just a little bit short, missing the record by only 52 seconds. But they maintained their dominance of the race winning yet again and it's no surprise that their family including Robin and Juanita Hassel also won their division they did it in impressive style fishing third overall and setting a new record in the mixed division let's take a look at all the results first in the men's competitive division Hassel and Hassel coming in first 15 minutes in front of the team of Randy Moore and Tom Mason Neil Leeseth and Doug Strand finished third the mixed couple division a all-female team of Robin and Juanita Hassel set a new record finished third overall very impressive. Janice Kaiser and Aaron Sullivan finish second in that division. Lanny Watkins breezed through the final round of the Anheuser-Busch Classic, winning by five strokes over Larry Mize. Lanny Watkins and Mize both shot 68 on the day, but Watkins finished 18 under. They're out there, yeah. but um, you know, they had a pretty good time. They're thinking of moving the race up a couple weeks, try to get more of that irrigation yeah. water that's in the Republican. Probably not Makes a bad sense. idea. Yeah, it certainly does. Almost 400 people paddled or floated their way down the Republican River this morning in the 14th annual Franklin Republican River Canoe Race. 191 teams started the intense preparations before the 10 o'clock start at the Napanee Bridge. Of course, we have our morning calisthenics, and don't forget your proper headgear. The first to start the race were the men's and mixed couples racing divisions. Low water on the Republican made this year's of race a bit tougher. Had to avoid a few sandbars, although these folks didn't seem to mind too much as they paddled right along, and some canoers just simply don't care. Roughly the midway point of the 15-mile course is the Bloomington Bridge. By then, the cream had risen to the top. Robin and Calvin Hassel of Grand Island opened up a two-minute lead. Following the Hassels was the men's team, uh, Dick Plumley and Randy Moore. But Plumley and Moore had just too much ground, or should we say water, to make up. The Hassels continued their family domination of this race, winning by almost three minutes. Plumley and Moore were the first men's team to finish. They finished the course in under two hours. Let's take a look at the top three finishers. Calvin and Robin Hassel continue the team domination for their family. Dick Plumley and Randy Moore of Lawrence, Kansas, and Columbus, Nebraska. And then a team of uh, South Dakota residents, Doug Stand and Neil Leesmith, finished third in two hours, one minute, and 26 seconds. Mitchell Bowles, NTV Sports, Grand Island. I don't think the hassles are overly worried, but Mitchell and I, just to prove <laughs> that anyone can make it down through this race, Mitchell and I will be in the race on You Sunday. haven't made it yet. Well, <laughs> perhaps, well, I think we'll be able to make it. Oh, right. we'll I see. Think. We'll yeah. find out Sunday night, I guess. <laughs> special edition of NT. Not to be a real good day. It looked like it was going to be very messy at the start of this race, but these canoe racers continued undaunted. When some people get into a canoe and you hand them a paddle, they instinctively know how to use it. Then there are those who don't. Both those groups got a chance to navigate the Republican River today in the 15th annual canoe races there. Let's go out there. About 200 racers in all in 10 different divisions started the race just south of Napanee. From the most expert to the very novice, and here are some of those coming up right there. They had their wins at the backs at the start. That was good news, but the bad news was that would change into a headwind. The top racers in the field, though, Calvin and Robin Hassel of Grand Island didn't have much trouble with it. There they are. They were the first canoe to reach the midway point at the Bloomington Bridge. The next canoe came by about 10 minutes later. About 15 minutes after that, most of the field arrived. At the end, though, after 15 miles of river in about two hours, it was Calvin and Robin Hassel. Here they are coming up at the finish. They finished this race in a minute 56, just about two hours, not quite the record. They were the first canoes to reach the finish line south of Franklin. Here's a look at the top three boats to finish. As we said, Calvin and Robin Hassel in 156. They kept it in the family in second there. Juanita Hassel of Grand Island, teaming with Randy Moore of Columbus. They won the mixed doubles division and the other uh, in the men's uh, racing division. In third, it was Kenneth and Mike Anderson of Kozad. Well, moving right along now.
River's really low again this year. Between Randy and Jim Short. I gotta get the next start. Say go! Yell for him, Levi. Levi, say go! Say go! 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 Go, Dick! Go, Lee! Is that Steve? No, that's not Steve. Okay, ready? Go, Tom! Go, Randy! <laughs> Along the Republican River, as canoeing enthusiasts compete in the annual Franklin Canoe Race and learn how to collect milk. next canoeing story as both serious and not so serious competitors paddle their way down the Republican River. Okay. Right uh, ahead of this sign. One of Nebraska's great outdoor traditions will be renewed for a 21st time this July along the Republican River near Franklin. The Franklin Canoe Race annually attracts dozens of paddlers ranging in ability from beginner to professional. JC's and the Lions wanted to find some way to promote the area and uh, so the race was conceived in 77 and the first one was done in 1978. The race offers plenty of competitive incentive. There are 11 different categories and I'm not even sure I can find all or remember all of them but there's there's one for about everybody. There's the novice, there's uh, women's combined, there's racing, there's fiberglass, there's aluminum, uh, mixed couples, teenagers, just about everything. Perhaps the biggest job is the inspection of over 100 canoes. Checking the safety equipment mainly down here. I've been doing it every year since I've been here, which is 1989. I would make sure that everybody has life jackets. Uh, anyone under 12 has to wear them. And then making sure the life jackets aren't strapped, any of the bracing the canoe or anything like that so they're readily accessible. Uh, also making sure that they have either a bailing bucket or a sponge. The race is comprised of serious canoeists, 
and what I guess you'd have to call recreational drifters. Yeah, it's a new design. We haven't tested quite yet. We don't know if we're quite seaworthy, but uh, we, 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 we believe we're ready. Yes, like yes we're, we're ready. What's the name of the, uh, what are the birds for? Um, speed and direction. Speed and direction. This is speed and that's direction. That way uh, people know where we're going and how fast we're going. While the crew of the SS Hummingbird will embark upon a casual voyage, others view the race more seriously. At age 33, Calvin Hassel of Grand Island is a veteran competitor of this and numerous North American races. I kind of grew up canoe racing. My, my parents were involved and my uncle and my cousins, so I started racing when I was about nine years old and just kind of kept going from there. I guess the, the big race I do every year is uh, the U.S. Nationals, and I've, I've won that event 20 times now. So they have, diff they have three days of racing, so I race like the one-person race, and then they have like a, a two-person men's race, and then a two-person mixed race. And my partner in the mixed is Lynn Capen, and that's who I'm going to be paddling with today here. While Calvin loves many rivers around the country, he still rates the home state waters among his favorites. I really like the rivers in Nebraska. They're a different type of river. Um, racing, they're, they're technically challenging because they're usually shallow water. And um, like the Platte and the Republican are probably two of my favorite ones because uh, there's a fair amount of current and a fair amount of reading the river, figuring out where to go. And it's, as far as racing goes, it's a challenging, a challenging type of race course. One must adhere to a daily training regimen to maintain this level of effort over a race course. I paddle 10 to 15 hours a week normally, and um, I cross-country ski and run and weight train for cross-training. And basically, you'd, for endurance sports, it kind of builds year after year, so the longer you do it and the longer you keep paddling a lot of hours, it does get easier. Calvin and his partner, Lynn Capen of Colorado, left the rest of the field in their wake. And that lag behind group didn't appear to be one bit annoyed over that fact. A way to enjoy an afternoon, a day. Uh, they're going to um, take the coolers. They're going to take their sunscreen. And uh, they just let the river carry them downstream. It's not unusual to see deer cross the river, you know. Uh, just the scenic beauty of it. Race spectators drive from bridge to bridge to watch and encourage the paddlers, but linger too long at any vantage point and you'll chance missing Hassel and Capen streak across the finish line. 140-39, Calvin! Calvin and Lynn shattered their old record of an hour 42 by well over a minute. Well, we're happy. Um, everything just kind of went good today, so... So the river seemed a little lower, but, but somehow the boat moved good for us. Actually, I was a little surprised. We took our split time at what we call the halfway bridge, and we were about 30 seconds under, and then I think we ended up about a minute under, so it seemed to be a real even race. Many of the participants won't receive trophies or medals, but they'll be taking home something else just as rewarding. The Franklin Canoe Race dishes up memories of food, fun, and fellowship for all. If you're interested in the Franklin Canoe Race, we have some information. Wave. <laughs> Been ready for the start of the Franklin Race. Boom. Did I stop? <laughs> You're not even watching your dad. <laughs> go, Calvin, go, Lynn. Right channel. Go, Brian. Go, Brian. Go, Chica. Yeah. 
And Lee. Because Canoe City today, and you were one of them, right? I was one of them. <laughs> they were fans of something else, too. It was the 22nd time the Franklin Canoe Association held its annual run down the Republican River. And with more than 100 canoes racing, it was yet another success. Hundreds of spectators joined over 200 canoeists in Napanee this morning. Living proof the Republican River canoe race is succeeding in its original goal. It, it originally started to promote uh, the Republican River area and, and also to promote uh, business in this uh, in this part of the state, you know, the Franklin area and so forth, and, and uh, it's really grown from that. Hang on tight if the river doesn't pull you away. The cannon will push you. Are you marked? Get set! 12 different divisions, starting in nine different groups. Something for everyone from the laid back. Well, it's a yearly tradition. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's a good excuse to drink beer. Exactly. To the winners, Calvin Hassel is a world-class canoeist, but he doesn't overlook a great race right in his own backyard. I was actually here for the first race back in 78. This has always been one of my favorite, you know, local area races. You know, it's a, it's a good, good, well-organized race and a nice, challenging river, so it's fun to come back here every year. Now, that was eight miles down the river. Did you see the pace he was keeping I know. Up? That was incredible. I could Amazing. never that. Did you get miles. out there? You couldn't. I canoed one time. Two, or it was about a two-mile two race, took me like four hours, so. I used to canoe up in Michigan, but nothing that fast. <laughs> Not I. Couldn't pay me. But, you know, were they canoeing on the lake today? I would assume there were some boats <laughs> out there, if nothing else. Good job, Calvin. 
Here come Dick and Lynn. Lynn started 10 minutes before Dick, but they're going to have a close finish. And then, I'm going to have to do the Like ever yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Oh, 
Go, Calvin! Go, Lynn! Go, Dad. Say, go, Dad. Tell him. Go, Dad. Lynn, how do you work that camera? <laughs> You know what? It would be cool if they had this lake that was a maze to the finish line. It had dead ends and stuff. Yeah. Man, that would have been wasted of water. It would go in the water and the fish would say, I always been wanting a drink of fresh water. Hey, there's not much in this one. Start the Franklin C1 race here this morning. He was on my shirt. We have. Go! Go! <laughs>
good, then drop them back. Calvin bends his arms a little bit. Mm -hmm. Doesn't he? Yeah. He's got a little bit of flex in them. I thought they had to be rigidly straight. Oh, Is that Lynn? Mm -mm. If it's Lynn, she's growing a bit. <laughs> well, who is it? Looks like Dick. Yeah, even Dick's not the child found his it. Right, good job, Lynn. Pretty good considering I've been in the boat like what twice. Yay, good job, Randy! Yay! Go, Levi! Go, Kelvin! Go, Pat! Go, Pat! Go, Wayne! Go, Pat!
Pat and his wife. Yay! No. <laughs> Looks like Calvin. Let's go, Calvin! Go, Lynn! Okay. Come on, 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 In here. Third place, Ray 
Fourth place in the racing division is Steve Techner and Barbara Reed. 21755. Right now we got 105 and 105. 503. 503. Who's going to win? Go, go. Fifth place is Brian Tyler and William Locke. Uh, racing division. 230. 223.41. Yeah.